this Thomas craft here weighs in at 12 and a half ton, 43 foot long, with the old Iveco V8 700 horsepower compared to the new FPT C16 set to 815 horsepower. We went great. This beautiful vessel here sat on an incredibly comfortable 20 knots at 1800 RPM. Sprint speed, flat out 2300 RPM, we achieved 27 knots, which is sensational for a single screw heavy boat like the Thomas Craft. We sold this engine, this Iveco V8, into this Thomas Craft 30 years ago. We haven't seen this engine for the last 15 years. It's been managed by someone else. Now, unfortunately, in that 15 years, the maintenance has been very poorly done, and unfortunately, we've got coolant leaks, we've got engine problems, and the best option at this point is to pull it out and repower it. When you have an engine, it's important to have it looked after well. And that's why as the Iveco and FPT specialists here in Western Australia, you really need to see THT to look after your marine engine. So the Oveco 8281 700 horsepower V8 have been a great engine, but we're at a point in time where they are approximately a 35 year old engine. And sometimes if they have suffered a failure or they require a lot of maintenance, sometimes in the long term, it's not a financially viable option to repair. And that's where the repower comes in for the C16. And the C16, common rail fuel injected technology, compared to the old mechanical on the V8, so no smoky transoms anymore, physically quieter in running, lower fuel burn, very similar displacement, and the displacement of an engine is very important in a larger, heavier vessel like the Thomas Craft. So the V8 was an 18 litre engine, this is the C16, 16 litre displacement. Physically smaller, and all in all, you get the advantages of a digital touchscreen dash, you can see more parameters and have more of an understanding and information about your engine. So there are so many advantages to moving forward in technology to something like the FPT C16. When we conduct a repower, unless there's reasons to replace other components in the engine room, let's be honest, we just want to replace the engine. So what do we do? We try and save and reuse as many things as viably possible, as long as they are suitable for the new engine. Let me run you through. This entire Pong box and exhaust system, exactly the same as the old one. The C strainer here, exactly the same as the old one. The propeller, the propeller shaft, the gearbox mounts, the front engine mounts, all the same as the old ones. The power steering pump on the front of the motor, the same as the old engine. So what we try and do is reuse as many components as we can in the engine room. Something a bit different on this Thomas Craft is the choice of FPT screen. We normally supply the five inch touch screen, but in this case, the owner opted for the seven inch. What do you get? You get an extra two inches. What does that mean? It means that you've got more gauges available for you in regards to the parameters you can see, especially on this latest series of the MD1 Bosch ECU like the C16. So you can see just how many parameters we can view. We've got easier access to see them. They're all a very well styled analog gauge, of course on a digital touchscreen. So it's very easy at the drop of a hat to read either on the analog or the digital numbers written in the center of the gauge, exactly what that parameter is at. So how do we compare? This Thomas Craft here weighs in at 12 and a half ton, 43 foot long, with the old Iveco V8 700 horsepower compared to the new FPT C16 set to 815 horsepower. We went great. This beautiful vessel here sat on an incredibly comfortable 20 knots at 1800 RPM. Sprint speed, flat out 2300 RPM. We achieved 27 knots, which is sensational for a single screw heavy boat like the Thomas Craft.
So all in all, we had better fuel consumption. Actually, at 1700 RPM, we were burning only 60 litres per hour cruising along at 17 knots. So long term, long distance cruising, that is fantastic for a big 16 litre engine. That's the advantage of common rail. When we brought our speeds up, she really jumped out of the water too. So it doesn't matter whether we're doing short runs at 1800 RPM doing 20 knots, or longer distance runs sitting on 1700 RPM doing 17 knots, the fuel consumption is sensational, the reliability is sensational, and the performance blew us away. If you're thinking of repowering, you really can't go past the FPT product, no matter the size or make of vessel. I'm Josh from THT, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next repower.